Hi there, Lloyd Mesido Sweeney you from LloydMesido.com, who's Lloyd Mesido and Dick Bustle Branding. The date is 22nd May 2018, time right now is 7, uh, 7.23. Okay. I, I, you know, I just wanted to address this, uh, this, this kind of criticism that I've been getting. Um, some people are saying that Loy is a fraud. Loy Mesido is a fraud. He's a fake. He is a scam artist. He's a con artist, whatever. Okay. I just thought I'd address this. Now, Here's the thing, here's the thing, okay. Now, if you check my videos in the past, I have clearly stated, I'm, I'm today I'm stating openly. I've stated that I've gone to prostitutes, okay. I'm openly stating I have gone to prostitutes. Now, when I tell people I've gone to prostitutes, my haters will not say, no, no, no. They'll say, yeah, yeah, right, right. Lawyer has gone to prostitutes. Yeah, correct. Then if I tell them that I've had sex two or three times with transgender uh, you know, I thought it was a girl, turned out to be a guy, okay? So I had sex with them. I received a blowjob or whatever. I had, you know, anal sex, whatever. When I say this, my critics and say, ah, oh, bastard, I knew that, okay. You didn't know that. But now you have something that you can use against me. So once again, people say, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's correct. That's correct. Lawyers, that also they agree. Then when I admit that when I was 31, that is nearly 10 years ago, I had a girlfriend who was 17. I admit that. That also they say, ah, very good, very good. Then when I tell them that I cheated people in order to survive during my tough days, they say, yes, good you told us that. That also we can use against you. And I tell them that I've, I even used my best friend to survive. They say, yes, correct. So now here's the thing. When I tell the bad sides about me, the bad sides that, you know, I went to prostitutes, I had sex with a transgender, I had a girlfriend who was 17, you know, one year before, she was actually uh, two months before 17, before 18, sorry, two months before 18. I cheated people to survive and I had no money or I cheated my best friend. When I tell them the back points, they say, yes, yes, right, right, right. There, I'm right. But the minute I tell them that I'm successful, no, 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 you're wrong. No, 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 no. The bad side is correct. The bad side, I agree. Good side, nothing. It, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, so you agree with all the bad things, the bad things about me, but you don't want to agree the good things. So when I tell people that, you know, I have helped more than 2,000 people get jobs, okay, over the period of 11 years, no, 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 that, no, that, no. If I tell people that I have more than 500 LinkedIn recommendations and social media recommendations, you check even on Facebook. If I tell them that I have real recommendations, no, 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 boy, that is fake. That is fake. If I tell them that, you know, I made 100,000, 100,000 in one day, no, 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 you can't. So everything that is bad is correct. Everything that is good is fake. So, I mean, what can you do? So, it's, it's like, it's like, I'll tell you exactly, it's, it's like you, you speak to a Muslim guy and you say, Allah healed that man from leprosy. Muslim guy will say, yes, you're right. If you speak to a Muslim guy and says, and you tell him that by reading the Quran, their life became better, he'll say, correct. If you tell a Muslim man that by converting to Islam or praying to Allah that their life became much more better, he'll say correct. But if you tell the Muslim guy that by reading the Bhagavad Gita, by praying to Lord Shiva, by surrendering to Jesus Christ, their life became better, he'll say no, 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 that's, that's rubbish, that's rubbish. So this is called cognitive dissonance. You cherry pick whatever information supports your belief and you discard everything else that doesn't you know, satisfy your, your, uh, you know, that, that does not satisfy your expectation. So you just, you know, my haters just want to figure out, they just want anything that proves that I'm a bad guy. I'm a failure. So everything that is bad, ah, that is right. That is right. But anything that is good. No, 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 that is not right because, and they'll come to that. So that is why I told you, I give you all my, my drawbacks, all my drawbacks I've given you. Now I know what they'll say. Oh, given the fact that he openly talks about going to prostitutes, having sex with transgender, sleeping with a girl who was 17 when he was 31, cheating people, 
who the hell will go to this guy, especially who looks like this? Here's the thing. People don't come to me for my sexual experiences. People don't take my services for my face. They don't pay me money for the way I look. They pay me money for my expertise, for what I know and the value I can give them. There are many religious people. There are many spiritual people. There are many people who totally disagree and hate the choices that I've made. But they only come to me for the value that they receive. They take the value, that is, let's say, resume or getting a job or uh, helping in interview skills, and that's it. They don't focus on other areas of life. Like, for example, if I were to go to a mentor and the mentor is a drug addict, but he can help me increase my revenue, let's say, double, I'll focus on what I need to focus on. His personal life, he can sleep with prostitutes, he can be a womanizer, he can be whatever. It's none of my business. So the point I'm trying to tell you is if you are looking out for things to hate, to put me down, I've given it to you. And I know what you'll say. That is right. I don't expect you to start liking me. I don't, I don't care whether you like me or don't like me because for me, the only thing that matters is people who pay me money, money. The ones who pay me money, they matter to me because that fuels my, my life. It's like petrol for a car to keep moving on. So that's the only thing I care about. So I hope this, this kind of makes you understand that me being a fraud or scam is me portraying what I'm not. And online and offline, I have done my best to portray things exactly how they are. That is why if you see the videos, I have put videos where I cry, I put videos where I laugh, I put videos, um, you know, obviously I've not put my sex videos because that doesn't make sense. So I've been transparent about everything. So I hope this, this kind of addresses the fact of me being a scammer, me being a fake. And with regards to scamming, I, I tell people, you know, I don't give them any hopes that, oh, you're going to earn exactly $100,000 or uh, I guarantee you'll get a job. If I say that, I guarantee you'll get a job or, you know, um, you will make $10,000 per month. If I guarantee, then that is called being a scammer because I guarantee and I don't deliver. But if I say I'll make your resume, I'll improve on it and give it my touch. That's not being a scam. So I hope this addresses the criticism that I have of me being a fraud, a scammer, a fake, whatever. And here's the thing. I've said everything that I've done bad openly. So use it against me for all that you want. I hope this makes you happy and proves whether I'm a hoax, a scammer, a fraud. Lloyd from LloydMissita.com, who's Lloyd Missita and Think Personal Branding. Uh, good, bad, ugly. Put your comments down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Love to hear what you have to say. Goodbye for now.